What's up guys and welcome back to some more Fortnite creative maps. Now because my previous videos on the music ones did quite well, I thought I'd bring you another one. So today we've got five pieces of music and in my opinion I've rated them from worst to best. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to go from the one that I think is the worst to the one that's the best. So make sure to stick around for all of it because the last one is absolutely awesome. I've already run through them so unfortunately I know what they are already but at least you guys get to guess what they are. So let's get started with it don't forget to like the video and also subscribe and hit the notification bell and yeah let's get started off we go I mean I do like this one but the spacing is a little bit off See, because they can't get the right instruments it doesn't quite sound the same but it is still pretty good now this is obviously a tv theme tune kind of given away what it is by the massive throne at the end as well but in case you can't tell what it is that was game of thrones and it actually sounded really good now how do i get out of it do i have to run back across it uh that's right i think that yeah there is doors i thought there was oh need to go through another one there we go, we're back out. So yeah, that was Game of Thrones. Now that was the one that I thought was the worst one out of them, but we've got another two on this map and then I have to load in the other ones. But it was still actually really good, really well made. So let's get started with this one then. This is the one that I've ranked as number four. So let's go. This sounds pretty much spot on. I'm actually loving this one. That that was actually like pretty much perfect. That the reason I've ranked it as fourth is because it's not my favourite song. So kind of a little bit of bias in there on the songs, but based on creativity, that's gotta be one of the best ones I've heard out of all of them, all the different music maps that I've done. So, in case you couldn't tell what that was, that was Africa by Toto. And, yeah, that was actually pretty good. Now, we've used this uh, creator before. He's the one who did the movie theme tunes. And that he is a very good creator, and he does the music really well. But they're very short. I wish he'd do, like, the full song, because I think he could do them perfectly. But, yeah, so let's move on to number three in our ranking. And see if you can tell what this one is. It sounds pretty good. I mean, everyone should know what this is. The corners are actually done quite well as well. This guy's getting better at making the songs. And once again, I really wish he had have carried it on, because that is a good song. And obviously, I'm, I'm guessing you all know exactly what it was, but that was Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. And really well made. The corners, he actually did quite well that time, because the way that he angled them meant that you could just run around and just clip them slightly and keep the song going. So that was actually really good. So now I'm going to have to load up a new map, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, so, now we're on to number two. Where am I? There I am. <laughs> so now we're on to number two of our ranking. So, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy this one as well. Now, I absolutely love this band and I love this song. So, let's see, how, let's see if it does sound as good as it should be. Let's go. Pretty well done so far. Spacing's quite good. Mm 
corners are a bit off. Still really well done though. Yeah, the corners are just that bit too off for me. Well made, obviously it's not the best creative one, but the song is what puts it at number two for me. And yeah, that was actually pretty nicely done though. And that was Feel Good Ink by Gorillaz. And yeah, I actually really enjoyed that one. So we're going to be moving on to, on to our last one, which I absolutely love. I mean, the it sounds incredible. It looks incredible. So let's get to that one then. Right, so now we've made it to number one in our little chart that we're doing. I've had to start it down the bottom, even though you actually spawn up there, just to get the speed boost so I can keep up with it as it plays around, because it uses the synchronizer thingy, the jig. So we're going to have to grab the speed boost, run all the way up there, and then start it. So let's grab the speed boost. Let's just double it up. There we go. Ignore any of these notes if they do play. I'll try and stay away from them so they don't. So off we go and run. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the chart so far. And if you are enjoying it, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe. And once we get to the top of the stairs, we'll be able to start the last song, which is absolutely awesome. I love this one and it's so good. But unfortunately, as we go around it, you won't be able to guess it because it's in massive letters, the name of it. So off we go. It does sound absolutely awesome. It really does, and it looks great as well. Like they've put so much into it. And obviously, as you can tell, it's the Simpsons. Like the massive letters over there, and also you should be able to tell it anyway from the tune. It's so well made. It really is. That was just awesome. It really was. So yeah, that was our little chart of five that we were doing, and this was number one. Now, the reason this gets number one is not only was it so well made using the little synchronizer thingies, like the timing of the notes, but also because of the decoration they've put in. It's actually really well made, and obviously they actually built the massive letters, The Simpsons, which is quite impressive as well. But yeah, I would do those ones down there, but I didn't enjoy them ones that much. So that's why I've left them completely out of the chart. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Yeah, peace out.